Welcome to Friday Morning Prayer. My name is Canon Andrew Eaton, Chaplain to the University of Newcastle and Rector here at St Luke's Walls End, which stands on a Wabakal land, and we pay respects to Elders past and present. Our service begins on page 413 of the prayer book. Our Psalms this morning are 28 and 29, and we read from the sixth chapter of the letter to the Hebrews. Through Christ let us offer up a sacrifice of praise to God, the fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. We have complete freedom to go into the most holy place by means of the death of Jesus. He opened for us a new way, a living way, through the curtain, through his own body. Since we have a great high priest set over the household of God, let us draw near with a sincere heart and a sure faith, with hearts that have been made clean from a guilty conscience and bodies washed with pure water. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalms 28 and 29 To you will I cry, O Lord, my rock, be not deaf to my prayer. Lest if you turn away silent, I become like those that go down to the grave. Hear the voice of my supplication when I cry to you for help. When I lift up my hands toward the holiest place of your sanctuary. Do not snatch me away with the ungodly, with the evildoers. Who speak peace to their neighbours, but nourish malice in their hearts. Repay them according to their deeds, and according to the wickedness of their endeavours. Requite them for the work of their hands, and give them their deserts. For they pay no heed to the Lord's acts, nor to the operation of his hands. Therefore shall he break them down, and not build them up. Let the Lord's name be praised. For he has heard the voice of my supplication. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts and I am helped. Therefore my heart dances for joy. And in my song will I praise him. The Lord is the strength of his people. And a sure refuge for his anointed king. O oh, save your people and give your blessing to your own. Be their shepherd and bear them up forever. Ascribe to the Lord, you powers of heaven. Ascribe to the Lord glory and might. Ascribe to the Lord the honour due to his name. O worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders, the Lord upon the great waters. The voice of the Lord is mighty in operation. The voice of the Lord is a glorious voice. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar trees. The Lord breaks in pieces the cedars of Lebanon. He makes them skip, skip like a calf. Lebanon and Sirion like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord divides the lightning flash. The voice of the Lord whirls the sands of the desert. The Lord whirls the desert of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord rends the terebinth trees and strips bare the forests. In his temple all cry glory. The Lord sits enthroned above the water flood. The Lord sits enthroned as a king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will give to his people the blessing of peace. Holy God, through your beloved Son, you reconciled all things to yourself, making peace by the blood of his cross. Fill us and those for whom we pray with your peace and joy. 
Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 6, beginning at the ninth verse. Even though we speak in this way, beloved, we are confident of better things, in your case, things that belong to salvation. For God is not unjust. He will not overlook your work and the love that you showed for his sake in serving the saints, as you still do. And we want each one of you to show the same diligence so as to realise the full assurance of hope to the very end, so that you may not become sluggish, but imitators of those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. When God made a promise to Abraham because he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore by himself, saying, I will surely bless you and multiply you. And thus Abraham, having patiently endured, obtained the promise. Human beings, of course, swear by someone greater than themselves. And an oath given as confirmation puts an end to all dispute. In the same way, when God desired to show even more clearly to the heirs of this, the promise the unchangeable character of his purpose, he guaranteed it by an oath, so that through two unchangeable things, in which it is impossible that God would prove false, we, who have taken refuge, might, strongly, might be strongly encouraged to seize the hope set before us. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Saviour and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when we come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. O Lord, who for our sake fasted forty days and forty nights, Give us grace to use such abstinence that, our flesh being subdued to the Spirit, we may ever obey your godly will in righteousness and true holiness, to your honour and glory, who live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. At this time, with so much brokenness in the world, and with war and violence happening in Ukraine, in Yemen, in other parts of the world, we begin with a litany for peace. For peace from on high and for our salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the Holy Church of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace among our bishops, clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace among the leaders of nations and those in authority, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace in Ukraine, in Yemen, Somalia, 
and other theatres of war, for peace in this city, for every city and community, for those who live in them in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all evil, strife and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We pray for the First Peoples of the Diocese, especially the Iwabakal, Biripai, Darkanyang, Gewagal, Kamilaroi, Waramai and Wanarua peoples. We pray for your church throughout the world. Pray for Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury, Geoffrey, our Primate, Kanishka, our Metropolitan, Peter, our Bishop, Sonia and Charlie, our Assistant Bishops. We pray for Linda Wilson and Jackie Yasby, Corporation Secretary and Executive Assistant. We pray for the Cathedral and the Ministries of Catherine Bowyer, David Cole, Pray for corrective service chaplaincies, for Chris Jackson and Di Langham, for the parish of Cessnock, for ecumenical conversations. In this country, for the Diocese of Gippsland and Bishop Richard Trelaw, and more broadly, the province of the Anglican Church of Congo and the Episcopal Church of the United States of America. We pray from the, for the parishes from which we come, We pray that we may be great advocates for peace. We give thanks and pray for religious communities who have a special ministry of prayer and advocating for peace at this time. We pray for our, the local state member of parliament wherever we live. Pray for ourselves and any anxieties or worries that might be resting heavy on our hearts this day. That God may give us his peace. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. Peace be to us all and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.